Mr. Speaker, following Mr. O'Toole's question, I waited in vain for a DUP MLA to burst the Minister's bubble about his reaffirmation of the all island economy, because this wonderful document suggests that all of that is torpedoed. It seems the DUP don't even believe their own propaganda. Could I ask the Minister, in regard to the unaltered Windsor framework, does he believe that that, with all its dimensions, aids the growth of the all island economy? And does he further believe that the existence of the REC border, which didn't even mention Merida mention in his statement, by inhibiting trade from, G from GB has the same effect? Well, let me make the follow up question very clear. When the First Minister flies at public expense to, say, the St. Patrick's Day celebrations in Washington, will she exploit the fact she's travelling at public expense and will she abuse the office that she holds by espousing causes such as the Palestinian cause or the cause of Irish unity? Because those are hardly executive agreed policies, or are they? When it comes to safeguarding the fishing industry, would the Minister agree a good start would be dealing with the outrageous situation whereby uh, fishermen from Northern Ireland who make their catches in British waters cannot land them because they are decreed to be foreign catch? Will they address that issue?